Hello, this is Billy Corb from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Friday, um, February the 7th of 2014. And um, we're finally getting around to making the the review video of the um, Compaq Armada 7770. I would have done it maybe as early as um, Monday night when I made the first video you saw, which I just finished uploading, but... I've spent most of my week um, upgrading the 2013 custom built right here. Um, it originally had um, a 250 gigabyte Seagate boot hard drive and a 500 gigabyte Hitachi storage hard drive, both of which were on their last legs. So what I did was upgraded the storage drive to a um, Western Digital drive. It's a two terabyte Western D Digital green drive. And I upgraded the um, 250 gigabyte um, storage, not store, a boot drive to uh, 128 gigabytes Samsung 840 Pro um, solid state drive. And it's one of the best upgrades I've ever made to any kind of computer. But anyway, um, now that I got that sorted out, I'm able to get back to work on this compact. Um, and I figured, you know, um, this is a compact computer, a compact Armada laptop to be exact, so... And I wanted to have a person here on Skype with me to um, help christen this. And I figured the best person for that is the official compact aficionado of YouTube, Jay Wakefield, a.k.a. Videos on Frontier. And I got him here on Skype with me. You there, Jay? Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, <coughs> hello. Welcome to the Road Geek and Videos on Frontier Adventure. This um, this is quite a special moment because um, Billy has finally, after nagging him, has finally got himself a compact, and I'm extremely happy for him. Yes. <laughs> Not only that, but I finally have a um, a win a per the perfect Windows 95 laptop. And with that said, we will um put the camera up here on the tripod hello <laughs> um, and I will um, we, we will um, zoom in on the screen best I can at least okay let me uh, adjust this okay and we will focus whenever it decides to Okay, um, we are not focusing. <laughs> Alright, I will be right back once this, um, okay, never mind, we are, um, finally focusing here. So, we will, um, switch it on. It's doing its memory count, 16 megs of RAM. Really ought to upgrade that. Still not focusing right like it should. All right. Starting Windows 95. And um, we will do a panel stretch here. There we go. Those of you who are wondering, who also have Compact Armada <coughs> laptops of any kind, and you're wondering how to make um, a panel fit, you hold down the FN key and press the letter T, as in T. Or Mr. T, I pay for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Tango, as in fake time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, we are now at the Windows 95 desktop, and as you can see, I have um, done quite a bit of work with it the last few days. I've got most of my files, software, and games installed. Okay, um, I need to get rid of that. Um, this program is performing a legal operation and will be shut down the hibernation service. I need to fix that. And we will go into programs, see what all we got. I just installed this. Um, Toon Land, which you probably remember from Packard Bell. Got the Best of Entertainment Pack. 
the playroom, um, famous for um, its clock program that would go three o'clock a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my favorite um, arcade titles, um, which I remember playing on my Sega Saturn, Daytona USA. Um, and we got Big Job and Connections, some Disney games, we got Timon and Pumbaa's Jungle Games and Toy Story Animated Storybook, Hard Hat, Digby, Kid Picks, um, Jumpstart First Grade, and My First Encyclopedia, as well as Spider-Man Cartoon Maker, for all, all except first Jumpstart First Grader from Packard Bell. Uh, we got all the Living Books titles I have. Truckology, uh, SimCity 2000, Full Tilt Pinball, and Widget Workshop, and uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> Microsoft Bob, oh no! Uh, Monster Truck Madness and Flight Simulator 95. Is uh, it not my... Um, <coughs> I mean, I could... But Microsoft Bob, I believe that to be 19 years old now. Uh, you would be right. I'm 19 years old this spring. In which case, I'm pretty sure that it prefers to be known as Sideshow Robert. <laughs> as, not Sideshow uh, Microsoft Robert. <laughs> I thought we'd start with Sideshow Bob. Yeah, <laughs> you had one job there, Jay. <laughs> I did. I did. And we got a few magic. Go ahead, Jay. Never met a murderous program before. <laughs> Although I don't think actually Sideshow Bob has ever killed anyone. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Well, um, as far as murderous programs, um, I know of a few types of malware that are kind of murderous at times, but... <laughs> but we got um, Magic School Bus, Ocean, Rainforest, and Human Body, um, Microsoft Explorpedia, and Nickelodeon 3D Movie Maker, which I would like to show, but um, it would get my channel shut down because thank you very much, Viacom, and your copyright police. Uh, Encarta 96, Bookshelf 95, uh, Works 4.0. Uh, go ahead, Jay. I need a bookshelf. Maybe I should install it. <laughs> and we got the Gus games, including Gus Goes to the Kooky, Kooky Carnival with the creepy prop tent where you can pretend you're someone else. That is a very creepy song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hanna Barbera's Cartoon Ca Carnival. The Puddle Book games, um, which are kind of like Living Books games, but on steroids. Uh, Mixed Up Mother Goose Deluxe, The Incredible Machine in 3D Ultra Pinball, Sonic CD, Internet Explorer 5.5. Um, and Office 95. In fact, Will, I'm going to Office 95 right now. With, uh, Microsoft Word for Windows 95, version 7.0, if you care about that. Alright. Okay, we'll, um, adjust the, uh, the font size here. And I'll see if I can type something up here. Uh, case of CDs, I found a computer. I found a um, computer shopper CD. Oh, really? Yep, cover CD, and it's got some. Um, it's got some free screensaver creation utilities on. Oh, on I remember save. those. Uh, easy, easy screensaver studio. I don't remember that particular one, but um, and for those watching this on the what I just put on the what I just typed up here on Word ninety five, please do not ask. And Jay, if you're wondering what I typed, it's um, Happy Valentine's Day. Don't stick chocolate and flowers inside your compact CD-ROM drive. No, I um, 
while I've not done that, I would um, I would be quite uh, prepared to say officially that that is not going to be good for your compact or any computer. No, I believe the only member who would try that would be the Paramount Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, this does not apply to uh, modern-day Apple Macintosh computers because, because um, apparently um, optical drives are now considered stupid, old, and obsolete. So, um, okay, uh, I think um, the one thing that I absolutely love about this laptop and um, Jay has told me so many beautiful stories about this feature on um, various compact laptops of this era. And it's something called Real, Mo Real Mode MS-DOS Mode. Oh, yes. And what it does is um, it has a special um, it has special drivers for MS-DOS when you ex exit into it. And how you do it is you go up to the start menu here, click on MS-DOS mode. It will ask you this program is set to run in MS-DOS mode and cannot run while other programs are running. All other programs will close if you choose to continue. Do you want to continue? Why? Yes. And we're going to reboot now. And this is a little bit different from the MS-DOS mode you're usually familiar with on Windows 9X. As you'll see in a moment. Alright, Windows 95 is starting your MS DOS based program. Alright, it's loading the CD ROM driver. Uh, it's loading the mouse driver. And it didn't show it, but the audio driver is also working. Now, um, this is pretty much full fledged MS DOS with all the fixings. You got your sound, your mouse, and your CD-ROM support. You can pretty much run 99% of, of MS-DOS programs and software on here. So, we are going to test it out with um, the old standby. Uh, change directory to C colon slash um, <coughs> Sky Xmas. Oh, by the way, I would just like to add in, for those of you who have dreams to use this to run Microsoft Windows 3.1, if you're running Windows 95B, it's uh, probably not going to work. It, Windows 3.1, while one of my friends has managed to get uh, Windows 3.1 to work in DOS uh, 7.1, it's very buggy. Don't. If you have to run Windows 3.1 and 95 on the same machine, and let's be honest, some people do, and, um, you know, I think it's a brilliant thing to do, you should dual boot. Exactly. Or do like I did with the 822 and get a CF card adapter for the back of it. <laughs> Although, on this laptop, it's going to be more difficult. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> anyway, we'll um, load up Skyroad's Christmas special now. Oh, and before we get, before we get a speed of letters, um, what we mean is it's going to be more difficult to have uh, be able to switch back and forth between CF cards. Installing a CF card reader to a laptop will be very simple. Exactly, exactly. Now we will um, do a panel stretch again. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect example of an MS-DOS computer game running just fine on a laptop of this era. With all the trimmings. So we will um, start We'll do row number one. We got music, we got sound effects. And sound effects is what was missing from when I was doing this on my Dell Latitude CP and CPI. I would get music, but no sound effects. And this would go for other DOS games as well. And it drove me insane. <clears throat> All right, row number two.
and as usual we make it right through. And now ladies and gentlemen, as is tradition on this channel because y'all are very sadistic and like to see me suffer in horrible, horrible ways, we're going to once again attempt to play road number three. Here we go. I'm sorry about that, folks. Um, I'll, I'll control myself one of these days. But, um... Yeah, that was Sky Road's Christmas special. Um, and now we'll try out a somewhat more heavy-duty game. Um, in fact, we'll um, do this with a CD title. Uh, grab my folder here of CDs. Okay, um, and Jay, if you haven't tried this game before, you've got to try it. It's a classic, um, okay, it's a little game from 1993 called Epic Pinball. Oh, that's, uh, I know that game very well. Yep, it's from the same people that brought us Jill the Jungle and Jazz Jackrabbit, so we, you know you're getting quality when you go with yep. epic. <clears throat> okay, um, let's see. We will um, type in, I'm already in the, in the CD-ROM now, we'll um, hit, put in the start command and we will get a um, very clever little animation for ROMware. No sound in the animation, but the um, animation itself makes up for it. Romware, the CD-ROM company. The CD-ROM company! Yay, CD-ROMs! <laughs> Alright, well, um... <clears throat> While we're waiting on some sound, let's sing a song. Uh, sorry, Jay, we got sound now. <laughs> And we're not focusing again. All right, let's um, load up a table here. Um, hmm, let me decide here. Uh, we'll do um, crash and burn. Yes, crash and burn. which is a race car themed um, table. As I walk along, <clears throat> wonder, oh what went wrong with our love? A love that was so strong. And as I still walk on, I think of the things we've done together. While our hearts were young, <laughs> I will put it in the rain. Tears are falling and I feel the pain. Wishing you were here by me to end this misery. And I wonder, I wa 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 wonder why, 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 why she ran away. And I wonder where she will stay. Hey, my little runaway, I run, 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 run away. Movie. Yeah, that for those of you who don't know, um, that's um, Duke Nukem singing um, doo-wop songs of the early 1960s. <clears throat> Here's a story you said but true. It's about a girl that I once knew. She took my love and ran around with every single guy in town. She's gonna pay for what she did to me. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now I can't play um, Epic Pinball anymore without hearing you um, sing Duke, nu du Duke Nukem singing um, early 60s music. 
<laughs> well, you did say it should go on a video, and seeing as I can't be bothered making my own, I thought I'd put it in yours. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but then again, I've got some pretty interesting CD-ROMs here. I, um, I took delivery of a case of CDs that was uh, mine. And, um, yeah, recently moved house. And um, I've got World Boots 1997, which is a double CD set. So I'm going to have to try and set up one of my Windows 95 machines as an educational laptop. And I will show you through all these uh, more mundane educational titles. Education. <laughs> now, now, we all we all know the importance of getting a good education. All right, and we are at game over now. <clears throat> I mean, for those of you who don't know, I moonlight as a teacher at um, a local uh, disability charity. I teach computers, so oh, that's nice. Naturally, yes, I do. Uh, it's um, I've been working on the course book. Yeah, and I've read the course book, and Jay, that's that's something I would expect from a professional. I well, I do like to, I do take pride in my work. That's a very very good thing to have. Now, um, we are going to we're now out of Epic Pinball. We're going to go back into Windows. We'll do a Control Alt Delete. No, wait a minute, I shouldn't have done a control alt delete. It's just gonna put me back into the real mode DOS mode again. I had one job. <laughs> so Belly, <coughs> what do you reckon you should have done? I should have typed win. Nope. Exit. Out of DOS mode, whereas all you're doing is starting Windows from within the yeah. real DOS mode. Uh, I should have done what? You garbled. You should have typed exit, because typing when would load it within the real DOS mode, with all the background drivers still enabled. Ah, well, I just did that. Now now I know. <laughs> Oops-a-daisy. Alright, we're gonna... Alright, Windows 95 is now restarting. Alright, panel stretch again. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention I got Microsoft Plus on here installed, as you can see on the splash screen. Now, um, now that we're back in Windows 95, we're going to play... Um, one of my childhood favorites that, that I don't think I've ever shown on my channel before, but um, I guess that's because I didn't own a copy until not too long ago. Well, I, a second copy, that is, when I found it at Value Village. It's a little game known as Jumpstart First Grade. So we'll um, put it in the CD-ROM. And we're going to go take a trip back to first grade. Um, well, actually, to be honest with you, um, my first grade was kind of a nightmare, but um, that's a subject for another video. <laughs> okay, okay to run this Knowledge Adventure product? Why, um, In yes. Scotland, it's called Primary One. <laughs> All right, it's, um, okay. There we go. We're going to go into full screen, I guess. I probably should have um, gone into 640x480. I didn't know it was that kind of program. That song has been engraved in my mind since 1996. <laughs> Was that a dog? Was that a, a kid riding a kangaroo down the road? Well, I've seen stranger things in computers, I suppose. Welcome to Jump Start School. If you've been here before, go ahead and click on your name. If you're new to Jump Start, it's easy. 
just start typing your name. I don't want to learn yeah, first. Yeah, next. Click on Go ahead, Jay. I believe I'm an exchange student from Scotland. <laughs> And since we saw a kid ride a kangaroo, we were, we were apparently at a school in Australia. Well, shouldn't it be actually talking like, um, well, if, if, um, if you've been, you've been here at, you've been here at the school before, why don't you type your name? You've been here to the school before. Hang on a minute. No, that's not right. You type your name in. You've never been to the school before, but if you have been to the school before, you don't type your name, you just pick your name on the list. <laughs> that's what you do. And and that's right. and and that's what first grade was like for Jack Starvis. Now we'll go into the game itself. That's thinking about it. Oh my gosh, it's a dachshund named Frankie. That's that's kind of cruel. Good evening. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm the Jumpstart mascot. You can always count on me. I really know the ropes. Just click on me for help. There's a lot to do in the classroom. Just click on anything that you see. In the classroom, you can find it on a desk. You can write it on the blackboard and you will learn something else. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got going here. Basically, it's, um, there's really not a plot to this game. It's just clicking around the school and you learn stuff because learning is fun. So, we will, um... Yeah, that's why I spent so much money on university. <laughs> we'll go out of the classroom here. I'm going to see if we can find the lunchroom. And here's the lunchroom. Ladies and gentlemen, Philly. Oh, yeah, don't worry, there's so much to do. Lunch to make and things to pay for all of you. Okay, that okay. was Hi. weird. There are so many things to do. Won't you be a dear and help me feed all of the children? You can help at the food line, the cash register, or in the kitchen. Or help Frankie get a treat from the vending machine. <laughs> oh, what were you about to say, Jay? You exited the classroom a wee bit prematurely, I fear. Uh -huh. What I believe has happened is you went on to uh, Jumpstart First Grade, and played hooky! Oh no! <laughs> well, I'm 24 years old, so I really shouldn't I be in first grade. I believe that good nutrition is fundamental to education. Well, that's nice um, so to know. It um, sounds like the woman from Sound of Music. I'm half expect to go, raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. <laughs> the hills are alive! <laughs> And I can't believe I just got that on camera. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll click on Frankie here. And we're going to cook some hot dogs. Okay, that was Mama Mia. inhumane. We've got to fill all of these pizza orders. There are small pizzas and large pizzas. Pizzas with worms, mushrooms, pepperoni, olives, and flies. Yeah. When I read an order, you've got to click on the right pizza. Ready, set, go. We need a large pizza with worms and flies. What? That's right. Tell me, I think your CD runs faulty. We need a large pizza with mushrooms, pepperoni, and olives. Okay, mushroom, pepperoni, and olives. Okay, mushroom. Mushroom, that That's actually right. sounds less appealing than the waters. Yeah, <laughs> I have to agree. We need a large pizza with mushrooms and flies. Yummy, yummy. Isn't it ironic that the lunchroom we lady just told us that um, 
that good nutrition is key to is a fundamental for learning and yet we're and yet we're looking at pizzas with flies and worms Flies and worms are an indisputable source of protein. <laughs> Time's up. You get much needed air you nutrients direct from the earth. Four pizzas. Great job. <clears throat> Do you? Do you? Do you? See, now you've got packaging that says we contain nut traces. It's to help people with their uh, nut allergies make an informed decision about what food products that they can buy that they know, uh, you know, they have a good idea they're going to be safe with. Right. However, these pizzas, they've got to actually come with a warning. May, can trace it, may contain traces of worm or fly. Ew. <laughs> Even if you order a regular one, like pepperoni or something. It's like I'll have a Hawaiian ham and pineapple. It's um. Uh, do you guys get ham and pineapple Try in the states? Game. Click on the pizza. Uh, yes, we do. Delicious ham and pineapple. May contain traces of worm. <laughs> you know, people think I'm strange for eating pineapple on a pizza, but I love it. It's brilliant. Pineapple. I don't know. It's something. It's something that seems Welcome to happen back. a lot in American food. Pineapple is used as a savory. Mm. Okay. I mean, I, I've, um, I've seen it. I mean, I, often it's, um, you know, if I've, if I've got a steak, it's usually had a wee ring of pineapple on it. Now we'll click on this computer whose monitor is displaying something that sort of reminds me of a Commodore 64 for some reason. Learning how to use a Commodore 64 in school. Well, you know you were at school in the 90s when you used 80s machines in elementary school or primary school. As we yep. the yeah, we used Mac Macintosh classics. Fantastic. To start, click on any square. Okay. Where's uh, the any square? Click on any square. So, um, well, I know a few people that are squares, but I can't click on them, but... Uh, <laughs> But belly, it's hip to be square. Um, as so as is the um, the wise square. words of Huey Lewis and his news. Seven. Seven. I was I was listening to a Close. song the other day. Try again. I was I was um. Seven. Seven. Pie. <laughs> what? Close. Try again. I was I was listening to a song the other day called "Gotta Get Back in American Time." Oh it by, no! It was a, it was by a group called Hugh Lewis and the Fox News. Oh no! Click on any square. Egg. Gray. Not that one. <laughs> it's not that one. From my all-time favorite movie. Great job! Oh boy! Oh boy! Egg! As in cookie egg? Cookie egg! Cookie egg! Cookie egg! Try again! No! You go cookie egg now! <laughs> I have to. Pie. Pie. That's right. Cake. Sun. Close. Try again. Close? What does cake have to do with the sun?
cake as in... Oh, are you having cake? Cake as in... The Aperture Science Test Center would like to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. <laughs> For any portal fans out there, I see you all, you wow. great big dolls. All right, let's get out of um, Jumpstart First Grade. It's a wonderful game, but if I showed you everything, we'd be here all night. <laughs> good evening. Uh, good evening to you, Welcome too. Welcome back. Check out these other great titles, Preschool, Kindergarten, and Second Grade. I played the Second Grade se second grade Edition, and um, it's pretty good as well. I'll need to I'll need to have a look at these games. I was supposed to do some reviews of them. Yeah, um, put Jumpstart First Grade on your list. I wonder if I have it downloaded. I might actually do so because um, I might actually do so because um, oh no, I don't. And we are going to try um, one more game. I figured. Um, I might as well show how a um, humongous game runs on here, so we're going to switch to 640 by 480 and we're going to play a little game um, I've shown quite a few times. Let's explore the airport. Of course! <laughs> and I think Jay knows what part I'm going to show once I get into here, but don't give it away. Alright, any time now. I think this CD-ROM needs a good cleaning. I need to get, get some kind of cleaning kit for it. Hi. Go away. All right. We will now. Um... Have you got any? Have you got any repellent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Raid. All right. Now I'm at the part that. That's the best part in this whole game, and Jay will know what it is right when I click this. Hopefully. If he does it. Okay, we'll try it again. It's a great day for water skiing. <laughs> it's a great day for water skiing. It always has. Well, if it being February, I, w I wouldn't go that far. I'm looking for birds. That's a nice Can you one, tell me where there's a good restaurant nearby? Well, first you need to take a right, then you need to go about two blocks, take another left, then come to the stop sign, then you need to take a, well, somewhere around there. Them directions are high oh, quality. thank you. Alright, we'll give it another try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. We'll get out of the game now, and we're going to do a MIDI test, but it's not going to be a canyon test. No, my friends. Instead, I fear we would change things up a little bit. We are going to do a passport test. And here we go.
That, that just screams 90s computer, doesn't it? <laughs> and that uh, it does. And that just about concludes our um, video. And um, before we go, um, I, I believe Jay would like to say a few things about the Armada 7770. Go right ahead. Well, um, <clears throat> I hadn't really got a speech prepared, but um, as I... Um, as I give this uh, machine off uh, away on its uh, wedding day, um, I can only wish that um, it, uh, the machine and uh, Gloria have uh, many good, uh, happy years together. Oh, wait, no, that's my best man's, but never mind. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think it's brilliant that Billy has finally got a 90s compact. Um, as uh, John L5, J-A-W-N L5, and I have said uh, countless times in the past, compact machines are brilliant for 90s gaming. The real DOS mode just makes things that much easier. Um, a lot of things will work out of the box. It always seems to have the right amount of memory. Um, something that I've not seen since I ran MS-DOS 6.22 on my 406 CD um, but it's got Windows 95 as well, which allows you to run uh, multimedia programs from within Windows. And uh, the keyboards on those are fantastic as well. Very so tactile. Very tactile. Not mechanical, but still extremely tactile. You could use it for... Um, uh, you could use it as a writing laptop quite easily. I believe uh, Billy's got Word 95 on there. Yep, um, which we um, showed earlier um, with me typing up a, a message to all of you reminding you not to put flowers and chocolate inside your compact CD-ROM drive. So um, I would like to give this machine my uh, blessing and say that um, I hope uh, it gives Billy uh, many years of en uh, retro enjoyment uh, to come. And for, uh, Go ahead. Pentium, uh, uh, Pentium MMX 233. Um, Absolutely brilliant processor. Only got 16 megs of RAM, which was a surprise because my 7750 uh, MT has 32 megs. Yeah, I need, to, I need to display. fix that. Pardon? Yeah. I need to fix the that. Thing, the thing is, I like the I like the SBGA display because it means panel fitting doesn't have to be as uh, it doesn't have to scale as much. Same here. I like I like that too. <laughs> Which means you're actually going to get a be better overall image. Mm-hmm. I'll hand it back over to Billy. But yeah, um, I have to say that um, for 90s computers, when it comes to desktops, for me personally, I'll always go with um, Packard Bell. But from now on, when it comes to 90s laptops, I'm always going to go Compaq. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. So we'll go ahead and, um, well, first I need to t take buzzing the knowledge bug out of the disk drive. Oh, I already did. Um, but we'll go ahead and shut it down. Um. And this is Billy Core signing off.